How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Cabracken. And we're up against an Issa. Oh, what do you know? Interesting matchup. Yeah, but Cabracken Duel? Cabracken Duel and Smite? Pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I don't know. Oh, for the past like few months or something, my voice has just been so weird. I have to drink like a tons of tons of water. Okay. And Kabrakin's intro when he spawns in is like intimidating. Well, we're gonna do the one and only way. I guess that's not true. Uh, we're gonna do what? What do we want to call it? The fun Kabrakin build. The the. Bumbus hammer where you keep bonking your opponent on the head and once they're no longer stunned you just keep bonking them again yeah that's a short enough title for this build i guess but anyways yeah we're gonna go into Bumbus hammer and max cooldown and it's really 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 fun on cabracken but it's a little bit difficult to get online i highly highly recommend you start at blue buff on cabracken if you start anywhere else you will not have enough mana to stay and you could get a first blood, but if you don't get first blood, you will be pushed out. I mean, even with blue buff, uh, he just takes a ton of mana. I'm probably just gonna put a ward on this and then go straight to lane because I don't wanna. I don't wanna be late. I wanna be here before Eset because she has a lot of abilities to stun me out of. Now this matchup, I think, actually goes to Eset because Eset can stun me out of my tremors. She can keep her distance. She can shred my protections. Um, but I don't think she wins it too much. We'll have to find out. Uh, usually Issa is one of the best gods against Guardians, actually. Well, I, I shouldn't say one of the best, but one of the most... One of the, one of the gods that does really well into Guardians, even though she's not played very often. Like, if I'm playing Ymir, I don't want to play Issa. If I'm playing Bacchus, I don't want to play Issa. Most gods. Most of my gods, I don't want to. We're gonna alter, back up so that she has to take bad pathing. Oh, I got that's a terrible body block. But we got her. We could have body blocked her better there, but that's all right. We're just gonna recall. Looks like she's going Bumbus Hammer too, so it would be battle of the battle of the hammers. Nice. We'll buy Bancroft right away. This is a really good start for us. Kraken's uh, very different than the other Guardians as well, I feel like. Just because uh, he's so mana hungry in the early. And his his aggression is built into his kit so much more than the other Guardians. But it, it's, it doesn't work for him against all gods. Like, it's a little tough against certain hunters and stuff. But, I don't know. He seems pretty strong right now. If you get first blood, you're already in good shape. That's the hardest part. Because if you fall behind his Kabraki, he doesn't do well from behind at all. Just get in position to stun her. We can kill her again and again. Or again, I think. There we go. I don't know why I said again and again. <laughs> Gotta drink some more water. Stay hydrated. Also, a reminder, you guys, that I am hosting a... 1v1 tournament on August 28th and all the information is in my discord um, but yeah it's gonna be fun if you guys want to come by the stream if not it will be on YouTube um, every time in the past I always tell myself I'll post the games on YouTube and then I end up not doing it I will try my hardest to do it this time around because uh, I don't know I should have everything set up so it'll be quick and easy to edit games that will just be full the full recordings of each game I think in the past I wanted to edit them, but it's kind of difficult to do that. Because all the games aren't always, like, uh, really even. Sometimes they're one-sided. I don't think we can get her, because I don't have movement speed. That's okay. We're getting our ultimate soon. We can kill her again then. If she gets too aggressive. Well, we are lagging. We're lagging up a storm. So that was unfortunate. But it's okay. Give it a few seconds. Maybe we can blink over her too. Okay, the lag, the lag, the lag. You know what? 
it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we're lagging or not. We got it. Yeah, I've actually played this matchup from Eset's point of view as well. So I know it from both sides. Um, it's, yeah. I feel like Eset can make it work, but... Um, if this is your first time fighting a Kabraken, which is likely, he's not a highly picked god in duel, then it could, it could be a little difficult. I'll find you. Just one of those things. It's, it's so interesting. I talk about this a lot in my stream, but Duel, Duel has a very, very high viewer base, but not that many people play Duel. So a lot of times, uh, I can't control matchmaking, stuff like that. And it's mostly because, um, because there's not enough players in Duel. Like a lot of times somebody will say, why am I fighting you? It's my third game in Duel. And it's like, I don't know, man. There's just no other people available, I guess. But yeah, a lot of people really like watching the game. It's always been like that, though. I hope when the map changes, more people will try Duel out for the first time. Because the, the other map, I think, is a very beginner-friendly map. She's going to go steal my red buff? I guess. A letter. I don't really have too much to fight her with. Ooh, we could go Talisman. Instead of pest, I'm gonna do it. I was gonna go pestilence because she's going Bumbus Hammer and Bancrofts, and the anti heal would be amazing. But Talisman gives us movement speed and a ton of health, and that could actually let us close the distance. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll probably get a Bancrofts too. Look at that, beautiful. Did I say Bancrofts? I meant I'll get a Typhon's Fang. I don't know if I said that right, my bad. I might have. Because Bancrofts Typhons is such a strong combo against like most gods, especially on Kabraken, because the scaling of the three is really high. And you get a lot of life still from the three as well when you're channel channeling it. Oh, you're not dead yet. I think we can kill her again. Just because we are so far ahead. Nice wall. Get the body block. There's no way out indeed. They should probably stop. They won't like you when you're angry. You'll notice I'm doing a lot of like small auto attacks between my abilities. Those, they're not like a huge amount of damage, but it's it's a little bit of extra. Also, uh, this this C set F6 for six minutes in the game. I mean, I don't blame them too much because it's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty one sided. So don't you know, understandable. However, last time this happened, I did a double recording. And you guys really like that, so I'll do that again for Kabraken. So let me jump into the next game. Okay, we are in the next game, and I don't know what it is, but I have been fighting a lot of Kernunuses. Hello. Hello, Jeff. Okay, we're gonna go... I'm gonna go the same start. I really want to get Bumbo's Hammer online. I, I would say the hardest thing about this build is getting Bumbo's Hammer online, because it's either the game ends quickly because you get too far ahead like last game, or the game ends too quickly because you're super, super, super far behind and you don't get Bumpus Hammer online. Like, probably every eight games I play as Kabraken, I actually get the item. I don't know, most of the games are pretty short. Ooh, I'm a little late. No, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Cancel the three early just to auto attack because. The three just eats through mana so fast. Let's see what build he's going. Devos, I'm guessing. Mannequins, Devos. Maybe an Ichabal. We'll find out soon enough. I'm maxing my two, by the way. If I was against a melee god, I would max my three. Uh, because it's a lot easier to keep them inside of it. Is he skipping the wave to come this way? He is. Interesting. I think that's worth it for him, yeah. If he didn't get it, it wouldn't have been. Oh. 
Now he has nowhere to go. Okay, I should be able to chase that fairly easily. I have beads if in case he roots me. Oh, oh no, he tried going behind the speed buff, but it was, it was fat shaming him. Oh no, no. no. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny that he types that as well. The speed buff was fat shaming him. All right, let's get this Bancrofts online. What a solid upgrade. Oh, there it is. Tier 2 Devos as well. He has beats also. But he already used those. I'd say, uh, like, I don't know, a lot of people level up the one on Kabraken. I really don't like prioritizing the one unless I'm up against a really fast god. If they're really fast god, like Kronos, Poseidon, or something like that, if I usually ban those gods, uh, then I don't max the one, because I feel like I don't really need it in early. I could have just backed up there instead. Ooh, I didn't have the stun. I was barely off. Do I dive for it? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Except I don't get it. He's staying though. No, I can't get him. I can't get him. That's okay. Alright, let's recall. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of abilities in Bracken that you could level up. It depends on the matchup. Uh, so if you guys have some success with the one, then that's good. But... I tend to max the two if I'm against a normal range god. I max the three if I'm against a melee god that I know I can just sit in my three and they'll take a huge amount of damage. And I can max my one if I'm against a god that's like constantly running away. Oh, you're taking a huge amount of damage for that. In fact, I can kill him in one second if he lets me get close enough. Whoa, that didn't hit you? Oh, good job, good job. Oh, that was so close. My two missed him. Ah, oh, man. That's close. That was really close. He's getting devos online. All right. I'm getting my breastplate of valor. Because, again, I want 40% CDR late game with Bumba's Hammer for the infinite abilities. Man, this is not going to come up. Never mind. The only thing about this map is the, the buffs take a long time. What is he building? Pestilence? Bulwark, perhaps? I don't know. I inspired to play ranked because of you? Oh, nice. Yeah, just play some, play some ranked duel, get some practice. I was actually saying just this just last game. I don't know why, but sometimes if it's someone's like first few times playing duel, they get matched up against me. It's just it's just because of the low player base. Um, it does even though I'm like high, high rank like a uh, high diamond or whatever, or well, maybe low diamond right now. Um, matchmaking can't really find a match always. Sometimes I'll have to skip like sit through a couple cues before it finds me a match so yeah it's a little unfortunate but well, you know you, you play a couple matches you learn you learn from it you get better you know oh man that was close used by three use beats and hey, that was actually a good beats he would have taken a huge amount of damage if he didn't Nice chase. Yeah, the gods that are like hard to chase down, those are the ones I like to like ban on Kabraken, or I just hope I'm not against them. Like honestly, I should have banned Soul. Soul's tough to fight as Kabraken because she pops her three and you take so much damage chasing her through that. I can't actually take this. That's okay. He's at the edge of it. Cancel it. He's out of it. 
Go back in. Dodge that. Might be able to kill here. Might have to tower. I could definitely kill him a little bit if he stays. If he doesn't, I get tower, so it's fine. It's a win win. Look at that. Just enough mana, too. Nice. I'm sorry, Karuna knows matchmaking's mean. Matchmaking's not nice at all. All right. They're a cool dude, though. They're a cool dude. Oh, wait, you're Diamond 4. Wait. Oh, you're the same ranking as me. I thought it was one of his first duels because he said he was inspired to play ranked. <laughs> I misinterpreted. Never mind. Never mind, Matchmaker is doing good. <laughs> That's understandable. Uh oh. Alright, we're out. That move is speed buff, help me. Yeah, I misinterpreted it. Okay, let's get this, and then I'm gonna get Divine Ruin because he is getting so much healing. We're gonna get Blink. Blink is incredible on Kabrakin. I just didn't want to start it because kind of need beats for Kanun Assault. Last season, got back into it. Oh, that's, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Alright, we can't blink, like, kill him yet. Until he's, like, a little bit low. You know, I always forget I'm rooting in that ability. I always forget. Nah, the Phoenix is doing too much damage. But now that I'm low health, I do more damage. Just saying. The power of Bancrofts. Alright, this bad, this bad. Oh, goodness. Alright. Hmm. I want to try to kill him. Just for the hell of it, right? But we have to dodge his all. We should just back, but where's the fun in that, right? Let's make it interesting. Where is the fun in that? Okay, I thought he was going to ult there. Alright, we'll just go for a buff and heal off of that. Again, the three gives us a huge amount of life steal. Well, maybe not. Maybe I need Titans first. Alright, looks like he backed off. That's all good. both backed off. I'm happy I went for the red though, because it is enhanced red buff. Oh, you're still here. Wait a second. You're not that low though. We'll just recall now. Get the timer, recall. Get our divine ruin. Next item. Hmm, what item do we want? Typhons still could be cool. Polly could be cool. Uh, how about a Typhons Polly? We'll go Typhon's Fang, and then we'll go Polly. We'll actually be at the lifestyle cap when we're somewhat low health, but that's okay. I tend to not build Polynomicon on Guardians as much as people would think, but Kabrakin, it works really well. If you've got the space for it, if you're having to counter build some weird build, then forgo the Polynomicon for something else. Okay. Is it all? I don't need to be set. We do a little bit of damage here. I'm super dead. 
How that not hit? <laughs> Imagine doing something crazy though. Just imagine doing something, something crazy. Okay, okay. Just imagine doing something a little out there, you know what I mean? I do get comments a lot saying, you play way too greedy, it's frustrating to watch. I know. I know, I know, I know, but when it works out, it's hype. How, I mean, how much fun would it have been if I just was like, all right, we're just going to recall. No, screw that. <laughs> Make it more interesting, you know what I mean? All right. But when I do die, it, it is unfortunate. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. This we will not turn around on. It will not be interesting if I fight here. <laughs> In fact, it'll be very one-sided. Oh, my boar. I'm a fast boar, though. If I had full mana, though, on the other hand, then maybe. Alright. We have a lot of damage right now. I feel like going Bancroft and then getting Typhon's Fang is like the largest power spike in the game. You get a huge amount of power. And it's... It's it's like Bancroft already gives you a big power spike, but now Typhon's like doubles the effectiveness of that. Because when you're low health, Bancroft gives you life steal, and then Typhon's Fang makes that extra life steal or turn into more power, and that extra life steal is actually more healing. So when you're like at medium health, like half health, you're actually really strong. I'm actually amazed it hasn't been like adjusted more it's been adjusted a little bit over the years over the years i don't know how long it's been again why is this titan not attacking there we go that's a horrific we'll just skedaddle on out of here oh. there we go GG's. Now, I feel like both of those games combined can give you guys a good sense of Kabrakin. Uh, I don't think it's an accurate sense of Kabrakin because I think Kabrakin uh, does have a lot of tough matchups. And he does have a hard time into certain gods. So maybe I'll try to get, get one of those games out. But you can see he has a lot of potential. Excuse me. I never got to get Bumbo's hammer online. So uh, that's the whole point of this video. But we'll get it next time. If you guys want to see more cracking, you let me know. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for watching, and have a good day.